My mama used to tell me that a man won't remember what he had for lunch yesterday, but he will remember the most beautiful woman that he ever saw, even if it takes him back 60 years. He'll never forget her. A thousand words ain't enough to define the body of, body of, yeah. Got a look and she wants it back. She's firing up that body of. That I want you, but not now, babe You're one in a million, but it's not for me I'm not into girls with a plastic trace Don't take it too personally happy to see you today thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Cooper you know we just love that and I wanted to say a special thank you to those of you that left comments last week on um, last week's video uh, and we were talking about change and why we make changes in our lives and your comments were so moving and touching and I wanted to thank you so much for that um, you know, in the week before, you were talking about, you were telling me what your favorite song was, you know, for the for the giveaway, and I went through all those songs, and so did a lot of other people, and we just had the best time. And I don't know how many times I read a song, and then I went and uh, punched it in on YouTube, and then played it, you know, 14 times, like all along the watchtower. But anyway, today, I thought I would do a video on my favorite hacks and to tell you the truth I've never done a video on my favorite hacks because I never had any favorite hacks it wasn't until I got into my 60s <laughs> I started to have to desperately find ways to do things differently um, because I was being faced with so many strange issues um, one issue that I was having was texture and so I found a way in the morning to kind of have my own little peel gommage with uh, alpha hydroxy acid um, and I wanted to share that um, that tip with you the products that I use are the Walgreens alpha hydroxy acid and I also got the porcelana this has hydroquinone in it and what I do in the morning is uh, I put a pretty good layer of alpha hydroxy acid on my skin and I let that sit in for about I don't know 30 seconds um, I follow it up with porcelana this one has sunscreen in it but you know you can use any porcelana that you have or anything that has hydroquinone in it and you put that on a thinner layer than the alpha hydroxy but you kind of put that on and then you follow that up with one thin layer of alpha hydroxy and then you go on your way for two hours and you just leave that on your skin it doesn't burn or it's not going to hurt you or anything like that but I tell you what after two hours you're going to start you know when you start massaging it it's it's just all going to be coming up in balls and in sheets and it feels like your skin is just coming off your face so it's kind of like a gommage on steroids it, it, it's amazing and it, it takes me probably about 15 minutes to really get it all off my face it just falls off my face and it's the product but it's the, as you're taking the product away um, you're also taking all those dead skin cells away Got a look and she wants it back. She's firing up that body up. What makes it so cool is, you know, the dead skin cells are on our skin like glue. So the alpha hydroxy acid goes in there, dislodges the glue. So when you mix that uh, uh, with uh, the hydroquinone and then you start massaging it and it all comes off, 
Yeah, you know, so you do that three times a week. It's like going to a fancy spa and having, a, you know, a spa peel um, facial treatment. So, but you can do it in your home for free. The next hack that I found out about is before I do my eyebrows, I powder them. I lightly powder them and that is so amazing because the powder, lightly powdering them adds texture. So when I'm penciling in my brows, they have more texture and so um, the, um, the pencil that I am using, it takes on a more realistic tone with my brows. So I've only been doing this the last couple weeks and I see such a difference. So I think that's one of the best hacks that I ever found so you probably already know about it but I had no idea that you were supposed to powder your brows before uh, you penciled them in so that's pretty cool exfoliating my lips I never had to exfoliate my lips until this last year and um, you know I just noticed that you know some lipsticks were drying me out and then I get oh, anyway you know the drill so I started to make this little a uh, lip scrub and I use uh, a teaspoon uh, of sugar of refined sugar and then I add to uh, to that two uh, teaspoons of almond oil and I mix it up until it's a nice paste and then I massage that uh, on my lips for two minutes I let it sit massage it sit massage it <laughs> wash it off and then no matter what lipstick, the lipstick goes on so nice and I never get any funny weirdness uh, of, uh, of skin. So it's totally exfoliated. So that's a brand new thing and I love it. And I think another important hack that probably a lot of you already do is uh, to put just a touch of rosehip seed oil underneath your makeup. And you know, you have to do it. You just have to do it. I mean, supermodels do it before they walk the runway. But no matter what foundation, whether it's a liquid or uh, it's a mineral, just to have just a little bit of rosehip seed oil. That rosehip seed oil, it just makes you look so healthy. It increases uh, the circulation to your skin and it just, it helps uh, the light catch your face and it makes you look younger. So you need rosehip seed oil underneath your makeup. Yes, you do. You have to do that. You know, the last hack that I have found works for me. It may not work for you, and you might think it's really stupid and silly, but this has meant so much to me, and that is when I am on a date, or yes, I go out on dates, but when I'm on a date, um, I don't see all that well. Um, I have to have my glasses on, but I also have to have a magnifying mirror, so... If I'm on a date and I want to touch up my makeup, I can't exactly see very well in the ladies' room in that mirror. My eyes aren't very good, but I can assess, you know, oh, I'm a little bit shiny, but I seem a little bit uneven and, you know, this or that. But I've been taking my True Match Mineral Makeup with me and then just kind of swirling a brush getting the excess a little bit off you know the back of my hand and then going over my face with it in the ladies room and then that way and I get one shade lighter than um, I would if I were using it as a foundation and what I find that that gives me is a, a great continuity to my face it it takes away the shine It's so sheer and so pretty that it's going to go right over my blush and my blush will come through. My contour will come through it because it's, it's light. But, um, but I love it and ever since I started doing this, it just makes going out so, so much more enjoyable and I, I don't have to worry that, you know, that my makeup might be sliding around or looking greasy or you know I don't know I just love it so it might not work for you and you might think it's silly but for me this hack is probably my most important one of the year what was the name of the prettiest woman you ever saw when you were young do you remember this is King Kate this is King Kate yep by far she was the prettiest woman you ever saw. Was she a teacher? No. She was a Cub Scout leader. Ah. So 
course, he was uh, Bobby Kincaid's mom. We had Cub Scouts over there. What made her stand out? What made her so pretty? Her brown hair and her red lips were outstanding. Uh, for fall, everybody is talking about fall makeup and fall lipsticks, and I just wanted to share with you really quickly. Um, I have uh, four shades of lipstick that I absolutely love that I think are like my signature shades um, that I wear in the fall that I just love, and I wear them in the summer too. <laughs> but um, I really, I'm not a big fan of drugstore lipsticks, but the lipsticks that I love that I choose to wear. They remind me a lot of a musical chord without a third. If a chord doesn't have a third, you don't know whether that chord is a major or a minor chord. And that's how I look at lipsticks. If the lipstick has such a unique, beautiful shade and you can't tell, is that a red, is it a wine, it, exactly what, what shade is that? That's what draws my eye to a shade and that is what makes me want to own that shade and wear it all the time. Um, so I just thought I would share with you my four, my four very, very favorite uh, lipstick shades and if I like them, maybe you would like them too. The shade that I have on right now is L'Oreal's Golden Grape and um, I will, oh, I should probably swatch it for you. This is L'Oreal's Golden Grape. Uh, it is like a wine. Uh, it, it's like a wine shade, but it's kind of a red. It's um, it's not matte, but it's not real shimmery, and I think it's very classy. Um, even though it's a, a, a dramatic lipstick, I, I think it's very classy. I don't think it's vampy at all. Um, I don't think it's too dark. Um, I just love it. Uh, this is Revlon's A Little Wine with Everything, and so many ladies have told me that this was their very first bold lipstick um, but it is kind of a pink red it's like it, it's kind of a pink it's kind of a coral it's kind of what is it and that's what makes it so wonderful so um, I love it I love a little wine with everything by Revlon <laughs> this shade is Mochalicious uh, it is a, a, a matte uh, wet and wild shade. I don't use any wet and wild lipsticks at all in my life except this shade. And I have to admit that coming up on 63 that I do feel that I might not be able to pull this off like in the old days. Um, it's dark. It's very dark and I'm not sure that that is flattering for me anymore. But I have loved this shade. I have loved this lipstick for so long. And with certain um, outfits that are kind of um, eggplant, uh, kind of a, a rusty a brown black, I think this is a beautiful lipstick uh, to wear with a... Uh, those colors and light eyeshadows. So this is Mochalicious by Wet n Wild. <laughs> it's been a long, long time favorite of mine. So I guess if I were to have a signature lip, this is it because this is the lipstick that I wear the most and it's the lipstick that I get the most um, compliments and questions about. So, um, you know, don't pay too much attention to how I'm applying it today because I'm kind of in a rush. But if you can just enjoy the shade, um, I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's what color is it? Is it a wine? Is it matte love? And the, and also its little brother, uh, matte drama. <laughs> Those are my two signature shades that I wear almost all the time. But um, this one is absolutely my favorite. And if I ever fall in love, wouldn't it be great if like his name was Matt? And then, all right, that was totally uncalled for. The screams fall. You know it does. It's like, come on, pass the apples and the cider and the vodka and Matt. <laughs> I have a very dear friend named Bob and um, sometimes we go around and, you know, investigate things here in Michigan. Um, 
Saga Tech that night was absolutely the place to be and the music was loud and the crowds were spilling out into the streets and you know I, I hadn't seen a crowd that big in quite a while and we had to walk through this this huge crowd with the music blaring to get to our car and it was a little bit intimidating I admit it and it's funny because my friend grabbed my hands so tightly and I was, I was kind of taken aback by it at first but then I was like so comforted by it and you know I, I just I felt so safe and I felt so invincible you know I was walking through this big scary crowd you know and his hand he had my hand in his so tightly and it felt so good and me of course the queen of overthinking things um, I just thought, I thought suddenly, what about all those crowds that I have walked through all by myself for the last five years since I've been divorced? I, I, I don't think I ever thought once, you know, oh, I wish there was somebody here holding my hand. I was just strong. I walked through the crowd. I did it. I did it on my own. And I never even thought about it. So... So now I'm thinking that maybe that's why when we get older, you know, we don't date or we don't get married because, you know, for us to open up our hearts like that, we'd have to take down those walls that, that enable us to be so strong so we can walk through that crowd by ourselves without holding anybody's hand because we take care of ourselves as single women. There, there isn't anybody that's going to take care of us. We have to take care of ourselves. So I kind of put two and two together there that for me to accept that, for me to almost expect that, ooh, the next time something's a little scary, I can just grab onto his hand and hold on tightly that's not a good way for me to think. It's not a safe way for me to think. Do you know what I mean? You have to be very brave to be vulnerable. I just felt when I was walking through that crowd and my, it was so sweet. It was, I was so happy. I was happy. I felt so safe. I really did. I really did. A thousand words ain't enough to define the body of, body of, yeah. Gotta Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. Okay, thank you so much for spending this time with us today. We loved every second of it. So please have a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see me in Cooper, okay? All right, it's a deal. Don't take it too personally. There's a bunch of us out in the world who's just like me, not into you. Same, same. You think you can kill you? No, nothing, babe. I want something real, not the custom made. I'll buy you a drink, keep you company. She can't act, she can't sing, and she sure can't dance. She's a triple threat. <laughs> That's my favorite quote from Singing in the Rain. <laughs> I love that. Okay. All right. This isn't movie quotes. Should be, but it's not. Okay, so what else?